What's up, man? Um, I am. I think there might be something a little wrong with my Instagram, or my internet, or something. Can y'all see me? All right. Hear me? All right. Um, I am good. I am in my house. I wouldn't say I'm good. I'm safe. Uh, safe as we can be, you know, with these motherfuckers on our streets. I'm talking about the cops, not the protesters. These trash ass, fucked up ass cops. They all need to go. I don't want nobody fired. I don't want nobody suspended. I want these assholes prosecuted and I want them all to lose the entire fucking system. I don't want any of our dollars going to that shit. Um, I recorded a video just now and then I decided to go live. I might still post it. I just want to remind y'all what we were out there for. Defund the police, number one. Defund the police. Number two, prosecute killer cops. Now, out in the streets, we said number one was prosecute killer cops. Number two was defund police. But I'm telling you right now, number one is defund the fucking police. Abolish this fucking system. We can use these billions of dollars. We spend billions of dollars in this country on trash ass fucking system of slave catching. And we could use that. That could be our reparations. That could be our uh, mental health care system that's non-existent. Our only mental health care system is, is cages, prisons, prisons and jails. 55% or over 50% of, of people in jails and prisons have mental health issues. 73% 73, uh, 73 of women in state uh, prisons and jails. We need to fuck that shit up. We need a actual mental health care system that deals with our trauma that we have to deal with like this bullshit. I'm traumatized. I'm working through it. I'm figuring it out. Yeah, they beat my ass a bit. Um, they got me with the baton in several places all over my fucking body. If you can see in those videos, they got, you know, this is swollen. Uh, this is where I got hit with one of the uh, bullets, one of the rubber bullets. I got this one as well. Um, and then my leg, I don't know if y'all can see it. I had to go, I had to go to the ER. Um, I'll, I'll post pictures. I'll post pictures. They got me in my leg five times, I think. Uh, yeah, five times. Um, and my assistant who... God, I just wanted to go home. My assistant was there, my associate director of Build Power, my um, nonprofit initiative, um, who is very small, uh, Lacey, um, was was there. And, uh, and I just wanted them to be all right. And then I saw them brutalizing other folks. Now, I just wanna be real clear. I posted, I just posted a video on Twitter that uh, Matt McGorry took um, that clearly shows, clearly shows, no, there's no misinterpretation, clearly shows zero to 100, uh, 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 peaceful to violent, and all the violence coming from, coming from uh, the cops, all of it. They're coming, they, all of the aggression comes straight from the cops. And you can see at the end, them, you can see the end of them uh, beating somebody on the ground and I step in, it looks like, you know, you can see Mario pull me back, my, my assistant pull me back a bit and it looks like I'm fighting with the cops. Well, to fuck, yeah, I was because they were beating somebody on the ground. You could see them, it's literally completely peaceful, completely peaceful and then they start beating folks. And then people start defending themselves as they should. And I'm not saying that it should have been peaceful. I'm not saying that at all. They've been killing folks, over 601 folks in LA alone. 
Over 601 in LA alone. That's the, the ones we know about. Um, in, in the past, like eight years, I believe it's eight years is the, is the, is the time span. And these are killer cops. They need to be prosecuted. They, the whole system needs to be abolished. And there's, there's been rape covered up. G DA Jackie Lacey is, is trash. She has to go. We need another. My, mayor Garcetti is fucking trash. He's a trash ass mayor. He's, he's approving this shit, shit. Not only is he approving it, he's trying to increase their budget by 200 million when crime is down. Crime was down for COVID. And he already proposed this weeks ago. He stands with the police now, looking at these videos. I've had a personal conversation with him. When, it, when ICE uh, was, was in our streets detaining folks, one woman that we knew that didn't have any criminal past or whatever, and he gave me a speech. I ain't ever said this publicly, but he gave me a talk at an event where he was saying, well, ICE is gonna be in our, our communities. We're, we're still trying to figure out how to dress, whatever, blah, 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 whoop de whoop. And then he said, but mainly they're targeting murderers, the, you know, the murderers, the, the, the rapists, the thieves. I was like, are, is this a real fucking Republican? This is 100 percent true. You can ask Matt McGorry. We had the conversation with them. Both of us saw it. Matt tried to uh, record it, but couldn't. This is true. He is trash. He is on the side of the oppressor. That is who we have as, as a mayor here. Mayor Frey is trash. And me talking about Democrats doesn't make uh, Republicans any better. The lowest form of human life, the lowest form of life period is Donald Trump and these whack ass fucking police officers in our streets that are brutalizing us. Peaceful protesters. We have every right. We have every fucking right. We're grieving, we're mourning, and we're demanding better. We have every right to do that. It was completely peaceful. Black Lives Matter Los Angeles, Black Lives Matter Los Angeles and Build Power paired together to take all the things that we had. And I'll post this video that I put all this in. I mean, it's a long video, but so this might replace it. But um, Black Lives Matter Los Angeles and Build Power came together and wanted to do something in the wake of George Floyd in solidarity with those in Minneapolis, with um, all the all the killings. There's been so many murders um, and and we wanted to do something that would be stand in solidarity with them and then uplift um, the, the folks here like Kenneth Ross Jr. And 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 so many others, Waukesha Wilson. And, and the list is long. I have I've posted it before of the folks that have been killed by. Uh, cops in Los Angeles County and covered up or 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 uh, refused to to pro, uh, prosecute by Jackie Lacey, and and funded even more by Eric Garcetti, um, and this fucking sh this whack ass fucking sheriff Villanueva, um, and we were out there peacefully acknowledging our ancestors, honoring the land. We had a Tonga relative, Jessa, come out. We had Amber Riley um, um, sing a, a, a beautiful song. Uh, she sang Freedom um, by Beyonce to j energize us, get us up out the in the streets. Melina Abdullah gave a speech. Patrice Cullors gave a speech. We heard from some of the families. We've heard from Kenneth Ross's Kenneth Ross's uh, mother, um, who who lost her son Kenneth Ross Jr. to um, uh, police murder, um, and and then we had uh, Joseph chant us out into the streets because there was too much energy in that park. It was just a massive group of people. We were like, we got to do this. We we went all the way to Fairfax and. Um, Fairfax and third, and we stood in the intersection, right? And we honored, we heard from Tandiwe, who's a, a young, a young uh, students deserve um, uh, uh, activist, uh, and and she's incredible, and um, and we heard from the youth, and then we and then we ended it. We ended it in the middle of that intersection. We ended it. We were like, you know, anybody who was there, we said the Asada Shakur chant. We ended it. Black Lives Matter LA left. Then I found out that I was uh, disconnected from my assistant and my associate director um, uh, of Build Power. And so I started looking for them. One, because they, <laughs> he got my backpack. Uh, and two, because I'm like, I want them to be safe. 
And we, I didn't see any cops. I might have heard some sirens, but I didn't see any. And so as I'm looking for them, not even like, like a block in, I see cops. And I see them being like, like, uh, like uh, tents, you know? And I see protesters. And I'm like, oh, shit, what's going on? I call my assistant. I'm like, what's, where are you? He tells me where he is. I tell him, text me because I can't hear you. I look and I'm trying to figure out where he is. And, and they get violent. They get aggressive. I recorded it. You could see everything in, in, on IGTV. Um, I posted all those uh, IG lives. I guess they're not IGTV. What? I don't even know the fucking term. All the IG lives that I saved from today are there. I posted more things. You can see how violent they got. Shot many protesters with rubber bullets. Um, I know a few buddies of mine who also got shot. Matt got shot. Uh, Dion got shot. Uh, there's so many folks that got hit with batons and, and brutalized. And then they sent in uh, the... Uh, like a bus to, to arrest folks. Chica got arrested. Um, there's so many folks that were traumatized today after having one of the most beautiful healing. Anybody there can talk about it. It was energizing. It was powerful. It was beautiful. It was healing. And it was, and it was um, uh, power building. It was, it was organizing. It was inspiring. It was making us uh, expand our imaginations as to what we can do, what a world looks like without cops, without the, the, the continuation of the legacy of slave catching that, w that founded the current policing system that we have today. What does that world look like? What could we use that money for? What does true safety in this world mean? Which is housing, healthcare, education, and jobs. That's safety. That's safety. If, if, if police equaled safety, then all these folks, uh, these Fortune 500 CEOs, they would live in the hood. I say that all the time. They would live in the hood because there's no shortage of police there. If they really wanted to say, stay safe, they don't, we don't need cops. Cops need us. They have crazy inflated, inflated budgets for brutalizing us for <laughs> abusing our communities extracting resources and money and fines and fees and 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 uh terrorizing black and brown children in schools and indigenous folks that's just it's trash Anybody who's afraid on this live of, of hashtagging defund the police, I'm, I'm, defund police, I'm not saying that you got to put abolish police and all this shit. This is, that's my talk. I'm not saying that you got to be comfortable with that. I don't really care. What, I, what you do need to uh, become comfortable with is that our resources, our resources are going into, I don't care if you're white, I don't care who you are, your resources, which were extracted from our fucking community, so there are resources but whatever resources you have and that you pay to this government, it's going towards brutalizing black and brown folks. If you say that you're a good cop and you're watching this shit, which I wouldn't imagine you would be because y'all are probably out brutalizing folks, fucking people up, fucking up our citizens. If you d decide that you are a good cop, if you are really a good cop, good cop, quit the force, quit the force and expose them for what they are. Even if you don't quit the force, why don't you speak out? Speak out about how they've been abusing folks. Speak out how they've been killing folks and murdering folks and then still are hired and on the force. Speak out how they've been raping folks and they are still on the force. Speak out about all the families that have been paid off and settled outside of court because y'all know that y'all did some wrong, foul shit and they couldn't get any justice because cops can't be prosecuted. So they went to civil court and y'all have a a large cash stash just ready to pay off folks. That's how it works. Speak, about, speak out about how police unions are not unions. They're fraternal orders. They are organized crime that cover up y'all shit. How about you speak out about that? And they have all this fucking lobbying power. How about that? Police unions shouldn't be able to lobby. Police unions, police, you're talking about the largest gang in America. 
You walk into an office as a police union, you have a big threat following you. Police. Don't nobody want to go up against them? It's not just money, even though they have so much of it. They have high lobbying power. In California, they out, -lo they out lobby. The last time I checked, they out lobby um, the NRA in California. They have money, but they also have the intimidation factor. They shouldn't be able to lobby. They operate as organized crime. They are not a part of the labor movement. Fuck them. Fuck police. Abolish that system. Hashtag defund police. Uh, repost these videos. You could look on my timeline. You can look on other folks' timeline that I, 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 I reposted. You can look in people's stories. You could look on my Twitter. You repost those videos. Hashtag defund police. It's working. Minneapolis um, a school district pulled out. The largest school district police force is here in L.A. And they're not in those white schools. They're not in the nice schools. They're in our community schools. Black folks. Brown folks. Indigenous folks terrorizing us. Hashtag defund police. Hashtag prosecute killer cops. Repost those videos. Make sure you put that. Make that shit trend. And I'm not just talking about trend on the internet. I'm talking about in the headlines. I want everybody to be talking about fucking defunding the police. I want everybody to be talking about police abolition. I'm going to be real honest with y'all. I'm in pain right now. I'm fucked up. They fucked me up. Okay, I don't care how it looked on those videos, uh, like like it didn't hurt or, or, or whatever. I mean, shit, it looked like it hurt to me, but I don't think you could see on those because I had a lot of adrenaline and shit. You don't you can't see what that really feels. That shit hurts. This shit hurts. You can't even see all of the bruising. This whole thing is tender right here. This is swollen as fuck. My leg, I can't. <laughs> I can't wash a portion of my leg for 48 hours because they put the, that uh, uh, bio glue or whatever on it to make sure it's sealed together. This is from rubber bullets. Rubber bullets have killed folks. And they did not try to shoot it at the ground. They were shooting it and ricocheting it up into the crowd, which is fucked up enough. They looked direct. They pointed that gun directly at me. They shot my, my assistant. My assistant's leg split open. You could see his bone. They jumped him, three of them, jumped him. And that's when you could see me jump in. That's when I finally dropped my phone. I was trying to get all the footage for y'all so that y'all saw exactly what was going on. But I had to drop my phone and jump in because they were jumping him. He fell on the ground. They literally, all three of them had their, bat their batons high like this and coming down cracking. They fucked him up. He had to get stitches. He's all right now. You know, <laughs> assistant of the year. I need to get that motherfucker a bonus or a raise. Um, they, my, 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 um, my associate director, Lacey, found one of the bullets. They're about this big. They're rubber, about that wide. And they, and they fucking hurt. They fucking hurt. Go look at Dion's picture in, uh, in my... In my stories, they fucking hurt. Man, I'm in pain. All right. I can't walk right right now. They were brutalizing folks out there and it was peaceful. Those fucked up cop cars. Here's the here's the here's one of the things that I, I really want to share with y'all. One brother named, he was a white dude named uh, something Rent Rishi, Rishi or something like that. He had a bullhorn and he's an organizer apparently in, in L.A. I don't know him, uh, but I'm going to post the video. I found the video finally. Uh, two things, actually. So him, they tackled him. They didn't arrest anybody. I'm going to post this video. I'm going to make sure, you know, y'all have this to share this information. They posted, they, they saw him and they targeted him. Right. They did the same thing for me. I'm not. But I'll get to that. They saw him. I saw them tap somebody. They pointed to him. 
Then four cops rushed in. I'm gonna post the video. They rushed in, they grabbed him, tackled him. They hadn't arrested anybody at this point. They didn't plan on arresting anybody in the beginning. They would have had the buses already out there to do mass arrests. They would have had the tools that they needed. They planned on brutalizing us to send a message, okay? They knew that there were gonna be people out in the streets today. They knew it. They planned on boxing us in and brutalizing us and that's exactly what they did. You can see it. They tackled him. They started beating the people around them hardcore, like getting into it to the point that the, one of the cops had blood splattered against his face shield. And the reason they did it, I'm, I'm almost certain, and they, they arrested him. They arrested that kid. The reason they did it, I, I'm almost certain, it, I'm like 99% sure, 99% sure. He had the bullhorn. And he, he makes an announcement. First of all, he's telling people to clear out. I, I, whether I approve of that or not, whatever the fuck. I'm like, they've already shot me seven times and fucked up my assistant, beat us all with batons. They were beating women out. Like, women were actually accomplices. That's what we need, accomplices, not allies. Accomplices um, that were non-black were women were trying to shield me. You can see it in some of these videos. They were trying to shield me. Um, and they were beating the fuck out of them. I'm like, they're already doing that shit. I ain't trying to have no peaceful nothing. I was like, fuck them. Um, but he was, and he had some sort of control. He had a he had a bullhorn. People thought, you know, he was a leader or whatever. And he was telling people to kneel down, sit down, make sure that it looked uh, that it didn't look like we were being aggressive. That the, you could clearly tell that they were being aggressive. That kind of shit. And then he said. <laughs> He said, hey, on the bullhorn, hey, y'all, the people throwing water bottles and, and other shit at the police are not our protesters. They are LAPD, plain clothes, undercover LAPD, and they are the ones throwing bottles and being agitators in the crowd of protesters. They do that. It's an old school tactic. They've been doing it forever so that they have... Uh, excuses to brutalize us. Okay. So they, they said, he said, they are LAPD. If you uh, see somebody throw something, turn your camera on that person. They're LAPD guaranteed. After that, no less than two minutes after that, no less than two minutes, maybe one minute after that, tap on the shoulder, point it at him. And as he was on the bullhorn telling people clear out, they tackled his ass. And then they beat the people around him to make sure that nobody saved his ass. Didn't resist. Somebody said it's called an agent provocateur. They're infiltrators. That's what they do. That's what they do. Agent provocateurs. They are... That is an old school tactic, okay? And so they got his ass. And another time, I believe that dude's name was Richie. And the other one that I'm saying is for me, I think when CNN started broadcasting or showing my live stream, something changed. I know that one, they had already been hitting us. They had already been hitting us. But... Uh, one of the commanders taps somebody on the shoulder and points directly at me. And I think I have it on my IG live. This is before. Ah, it's all a blur, but they pointed, they were pointing at me and I, and, and they were be, being very clear to make it known that they're pointing at me. And so I, I said me and he said, yeah. You, he pointed at him and he, he was tapping the dude on the shoulder with one of the guns, with one of the, um, the rubber bullet guns. And that dude shot me. And then a bunch of them started getting me. And two cops tried to steal my phone, tried to snatch my phone. I'm not making this up. I'm not a fucking conspiracy theorist. That's exactly what fucking happened. It's not the first time I've seen this shit. 
I was at Standing Rock, me and Matt McGorry at Standing Rock. You know, this is this is what police do when we try to liberate ourselves because they are the oppressor, because they are the enemy. Ain't no good cops. Ain't no good cops. Stop saying that shit. Most cops are good. If most cops were good, then the bad ones would be weeded out. If cops were good and there was only a few bad apples or, or there are some good cops, whatever it was, then they would snitch on these other folks. They would tell they would they would expose them. They would arrest them. They would hold them accountable because they're terror. They're a terror to the community. If they're there to protect and serve and they're good folks and they're some of the best people around and they're good, good people. If they're not even some of the best, if they're good people, if you're just good people, then you don't let that shit happen. They're brutalizing folks. They're fucking people up. They're continuing the legacy of slave catching. Because that's what they do. If you're, if you're not, if you just haven't raped anybody in the force and you haven't beat the shit out of anybody in the force, if you haven't shot and killed somebody yet, that does not make you a good cop. That doesn't make you a good cop. If you standing with that, all those other motherfuckers that are doing that shit and covering that shit up and not saying nothing publicly, when you know that cops aren't co- holding other cops accountable... Then you right in there with them. You win that institution. Just because you with the KKK and you haven't lynched a nigger yet, that does not mean that you're a good person. You're still a fucking KKK. You're still a low fucking life. That's that bullshit. It's 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 fake. It's low. It's not right. Hashtag defund police. Let's demand it. Let's not take no for an answer. I'm ready to get out back in back back out in the streets. I really am. I ain't lying. I am ready to get back out in the fucking streets. I'm also tired as fuck and in and in, and in a lot of pain. You know, I went to the ER and I went to the ER. I'm gonna give you a little funny shit. Uh, yeah, fuck the police. But, um, I went to the, to the, this is funny, but it's actually really serious too. I went to, um, the, I'm not saying I'm getting back out in the streets. Calm down, y'all. I'm just saying that I'm ready to get back out in the streets, but I'm also traumatized. Okay. I'm not saying it's that I need to be out there or whatever. I'm just saying that I'm ready to get back out in the streets. I'm ready to continue this pressure. I'm ready to organize behind the scenes. I'm ready to be home and organize whatever we got to do. We can be creative there, but we have to organize each other around this and make sure we abolish police. They can't keep killing us. They cannot keep killing black folks. We have had too many black deaths. We are fighting for black life. As Patrice said today, we're not out here just honoring the dead. We're out here fighting for black life for our children, okay? We have to abolish this shit so they are not they do not become another Trayvon Martin, another Tamir Rice. I'll be damned if my nephew becomes another Trayvon Martin or Tamir Rice. I will fuck everything up. Don't play with me. I am not I'm not kidding. My nephew, I got 20, 21 nephews and nieces. A, a hair on their head is touched by police. I'm fucking everything up. Don't play. If y'all don't want to see me fuck some shit up, like really fuck some shit up, then y'all better hashtag defund the police and make this the leading cause right now. I'm not having one of my, my family members die to this shit. I'm not having my children die to this shit. I'm not I'm not spending all my energy raising folks and and being in community with folks for them to die at the hands of police. I'm not I'm not I'm not uh, 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 investing in community building and, and, and liberating folks for them to die at the hands of police or be brutalized at the hands of police. I'm not with that shit. Y'all better make this a fucking trend. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm dead serious. OK, if you cannot tell. This is not just passion. Don't just be like, I see how passionate about this you are, how passionate about this you are. I need you to take this into account that people are being killed. Black folks are being targeted and they have for centuries. And it's your silence and your non-participation, your scared shit, your your uh, your uh, private text 
I stand with you, your private text. I see this and, and it hurts my heart, but I don't know what to say. Is that bullshit that keeps this shit going? Say it publicly, say defund the police, abolish this fucking system. If you can't imagine better than this system, you don't have a fucking imagination. And if you stay silent on this shit, you're complicit. I went to the ER and I walk in, um, I sign this shit and they're, they're, I keep saying I got shot by rubber bullets and they're like, shot? Oh, every p person, you know, somehow realized, I'm like, I've said it five times, like, what are you not getting? I go in there um, and the nurse starts checking me in and she says, uh, she says, you got shot? She, she got you shot, shot with rubber bullets. Was it? And she's like, what happened? I tell her, you know, I got shot with, I've got, I'm bleeding. I've got all this shit. And I was like, and they beat me with batons. I'm just trying to, you know, make sure like, this is the police. That's that bullshit. She said, did you file a report? I said, to who? Who the fuck I'm going to file a report to? Who? Who? Who the fuck am I going to file a report to? Donald Trump, <laughs> his administration, the FBI, who the fuck am I going to file a report to? Fuck the FBI. They have been surveilling our communities and, 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 and participating in killing our leaders forever. Who the fuck am I going to report to? Huh? Abolish this fucking system. You know who I report to? I report to the people. I report to us. I report to the people. And we get out there and we fuck shit up and we fuck them up. We tear down that system. That's what it is. That's what I'm reporting to. That's who I'm reporting to. Who the fuck else am I going to report to? Who the fuck else am I going to report to? We had a beautiful event today, a beautiful event, one of the most beautiful things I've ever been a part of. And I was so proud of it. I was so proud of it. And people were listening and you could tell people were receiving. There was a spiritual energy of shift, of a, of a shift in, in consciousness, of a shift in ideology. There was a spirit of passion and hope and love, radical love of our communities that I have not felt before in an event. And it was, it, it, there was nothing spectacular about it. We had a speaker, you know what I'm saying? Not a, not speakers like us, but like an actual sound system, you know, a very shabby one. It wasn't great. There wasn't anything super, um, super pro produced about it. It was not a big Hollywood event. It was in the park. And then we got out into the streets. You know, it was a beautiful event. And then they fucked it up. They fucked it up. They started uh, 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 brutalizing folks. They started fucking people up. They started um, shooting folks. Even when we were leaving, we finally, they boxed us in. And they were like, leave. And we were like, how the fuck are we going to leave? You boxed us in. They finally say they're letting us go. And then we find out once we get to the other side of this alley that they let us through, this short alleyway in front of Trader Joe's that they finally let us through, there were cops on either side. Now, we found another way, a private way um, through. We have we found an escape route. <laughs> I ain't going to say what it was just in case we need that shit again. Um, but. You know, we were they they had to try to box us in and then tell us that we had to that we were leaving. I mean, that we had to go. I know what their fucking intention was. You know. They were fucking us up. But as we were leaving, as we were walking out. As we were walking away after they let us go, but they were behind us and in front of us. They were, uh, there were, there was a lot of distance between us, a lot of distance between us. 
Um, and we thought they were letting us go. Then we heard move. Move, as you see, if you've seen my last tweet, move is code for fuck them up. So they started moving in a line, military style, towards us as we were leaving and shooting at us. Not the ricochet off the ground, straight at us. In the backs. Pushing people down. You can ask, a lot of these folks were there. The Chica was there. Um, I don't know. I saw, I saw, I saw a lot of folks there. I saw a lot of folks there. Um, Matt McGorry was there. Um, Jennifer L. Epps, uh, Jennifer Epps Addison from um, Center for Popular Democracy. She got hit. Um, she's president, black woman of Center for Pop Center for Popular Democracy. Um, Dion got hit. Um, you could, you could, I, I promise, I promise you can, people were getting attacked. We had a beautiful event and they fucked it up and that's what they do. I'm going to say this again. Oh yeah. Wale was there. There was a bunch of folks. I just saw somebody say, um, but I'm going to say this again. We don't need to follow unjust laws. We don't have to work inside the parameters of the systems that the oppressors built. We do not. That is not what we need to be doing. We do not have to work within the confines of the systems that the oppressors built in order to achieve justice. You know why? Because the the, they weren't built for justice. They were built to protect elite white folks from the people that they were terrorizing, the people that they stole land from and committed acts, acts of genocide on. That's what the systems are for. That's what they were built for. They weren't built for justice. They were built for the opposite. They were built for oppression. They were built to, to, to control us, to hurt us, to attack us, to target us. They were built to put us back in slavery. That's what they do. Slave catchers. If you can't see the direct fucking connection, it was literally, this is not a, a conspiracy theory. This is 100% fact. Look up history. They were born from slave catching. They, it's the same system with another fucking name. Slave catchers put slaves back in slavery or killed them. Okay. Prisons are the continuation of slavery under the guise of the 13th Amendment. Has anybody seen 13th that Ava DuVernay did? Look it up. Under the guise of the 13th Amendment, you can enslave our citizens. So they police catch folks, slaves. There's not a, there's not a coincidence that they are disproportionately black and brown folks getting arrested and being criminalized and put in jails and prisons. They catch slaves and indigenous folks. They catch slaves, they catch indigenous folks, and they put them into slavery. Okay? That's what this system is. Okay? Chica said they literally enslaved us for seven plus hours today. They took away their freedom. We're not truly free already. Okay, this is the slave system. The Confederacy never died. The Confederacy did not lose. The Confederacy was acquired. That's it. The Confederacy did not lose the Confederacy. There was no argument over like whether we could have slaves or not really. There was no benevolent end ending of slavery. It was us fighting and winning and then them deciding how to uh, accommodate those wishes and, and because they knew that they could, it wasn't sustainable and that we were powerful and that we were going to topple their fucking system. So they tried to find a way to appease us by naming it something else. They gave it a little time. They gave it a little time and then they developed Jim Crow laws and shit. 
and and found ways to imprison us for bullshit so that we could continue slavery. That was the first iteration. I'm telling you, they just keep naming it something else and tricking us. I'm not going to lie. It's a good strategy. It's a good strategy. They give us a little bit. They give us some scraps and say, oh, you can, you know, do this and that. Um, you, but you can't vote. You can't do this. You can't, you're not, you're not a citizen. You're not a real human. So how are we free? You know what I'm saying? White people can still kill you with no consequences. Am I free? Okay. That's it just transitioned into another system. It just transitioned into another system with a new name and some pretty bows on it and a big event with the signing of a, of a bill or some shit. Emancipation Proclamation and all those other fucking bills that were part of the systems built by... They were still colonized systems. They were still, we were still on stolen land. We were still tortured and abused and nobody was held accountable. We were still forced to work. It was, it, capitalism is still here. Slavery is still here. It's all just, I want this to sink in your soul that this system has to go. We need to abolish it. Defund police, hashtag defund police. It's working. Minneapolis school district has pulled out and canceled their contract with Minneapolis PD. The university did the same thing. Let's get our folks to do the same shit. They just brutalized us in the Trader Joe's parking lot. Tell Trader Joe's they better say some shit. Tell Trader Joe's they better condemn that shit and they stand with the people if they want our fucking money. And I'm not just talking about black folks money. I'm talking about all y'all motherfuckers. Tag uh, Trader Joe's and that shit in those videos and tell them that was in your, on your fucking property. They came in your private parking lot and pinned us in and brutalized us. Speak out on that shit. I'm telling y'all, we can organize and we can do this. We actually can. It is within reach. It is within reach. Chica said they told us that Trader Joe's was no longer public. What the fuck does that mean? They're, they're such bullshit. They kept saying this in, in unlawful assembly. No, no, no. We have every right. We have every right. We pay taxes for this shit. That's our shit. Y'all are an unlawful assembly. Y'all are an unlawful fucking assembly. Y'all are coming up here to um, unarmed protesters armed with masks for COVID-19. Unarmed protesters with riot gear, face shields, bulletproof vests, compartments nobody knows what the fuck is, is in there i can imagine though um extra clips and and who knows grenades i don't know what the fuck they had you know then guns a gun on their hip multiple guns a gun on their hip rubber bullet guns batons they had all these weapons because they're fucking cowards and malcolm x said that hey, ain't shit changed they're fucking cowards that's why they gang, gang up on us like that if you can see what they were doing with these batons that they had um, and these and these and these uh, uh, rubber bullet guns was they were ganging up on people. And then they brought out. Thank you. Aaron, they brought out the tear gas. They brought out uh, uh, they they are they're calling in the National Guard in places. They're calling it. I'm just like the president. The president, and I hate the coverage on this shit. Stop saying, stop saying, who was that? Anderson Cooper? Who the fuck said that? One of those, these people were talking about it and I was listening and they were like, uh, he quoted a, a uh, police chief from the 60s. No, he was a fucking white supremacist. He was a fucking white supremacist who was an enemy to the civil rights movement. Walter, whatever the fuck his name is, Walter, whatever the fuck his name is. He was a police chief. He quoted a police chief who said the same thing when the looting starts, the shooting starts. He said the same thing about black protesters during the civil rights movement. 
who were protesting, he called for violence against those protesters, talked about targeting those black protesters. And we're out there fighting and honoring George uh, Floyd's life for our kids, for our folks, all and Breonna Taylor and all these folks. And he's calling, he, he quotes, he quotes that white supremacist. N not like in the past he hasn't stood with white supremacists, failed to denounce the KKK, um, called, said that there were five very fine people on both sides, called for the uh, death sentence for five innocent black kids, black and brown kids in New York, um, with an ad in the New York Times and other newspapers. It's not like he hasn't, like he hasn't like lined up all of the evidence for it. But then he does this, calls for shooting, mass killing of folks, of protesters in Minneapolis. And y'all are waiting. Not everybody. I've seen people out on the streets now. And I appreciate that. But a lot of y'all are still waiting to vote people out. Are we waiting to vote Jackie Lacey out? Are we waiting to end to vote the, to end the policing system? Is that what we're doing? I mean, Minneapolis, they fucked that police station up. So I'm not mad at them. I'm not talking about them. They're, they're out there about that life. But are we waiting for these systems? Are, is that what this, this are in the middle of our, our thing? Somebody's talking about voting and I get it. I get it. That's what we've been taught. We've been taught these systems. But fuck voting. Fuck voting. Fuck voting. Fuck voting. Do that. Do that shit before the vote. We want to vote for people that we actually believe can change things. It should be the choice between two good folks. Not which one is less oppressive. That is not fucking democracy. That is not fucking democracy. Remove them from office. Not vote them out. Remove them from office. Fuck that shit. I'm not waiting for any legal means. I'm calling for us to think outside of what's legal because what's legal is what's oppressive. These laws are keeping us from, from justice. Because they were meant to do that. They are unjust laws. Remove these motherfuckers from office. Remove them from the force. Make sure there is no force left for them to come back to. And build with that money, those resources, our tax dollars, the, so the, the, the resources that were extracted from our communities, built on our ancestors' backs, and are currently still uh, being extracted from our communities. Make those resources work for us. Let us decide what to do with them. Let us decide how our kids get to thrive. Let us decide how, how to treat the trauma that they've set into our neighborhoods. Let us decide what our reparations are. Let us decide how to utilize our resources. We're not doing no fucking voting shit. We're not waiting for a fucking vote. I'm not saying don't vote. I'm not calling for nobody to, to, to not vote. I could just, I don't even want to qualify this, but I know, I hear these fucking helicopters that have been going all night. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I, I could just see some of y'all motherfuckers take this out of context and be like, he said, don't vote, blah, 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 blah. Fuck y'all. I'm not saying that. I'm saying don't wait for voting because voting for the lesser evil is not okay. Yes, that is a true fucking argument. We are not voting for less oppression. We need you to prove that you are for us. You, we need you to prove that you are willing to defund the police, that you are willing to call for reparations. You, we need to, you to, to make sure that you are willing to care for our communities. Not just, not just uh, placate our communities, not just give us a little bit more scraps, maybe higher quality scraps. No, no, we want to thrive. We want our shit. We want to thrive. We want our kids to thrive. We don't want all of these systems. Let's talk about mental health for a second. 
How can we truly liberate our mental health when these systems are still in place? These systems were built to target our mental health, to be divisive, to pit, pit us against each other, make us paranoid, surveil our communities, make us intimidated, make sure that we are malnutrition, that we don't have access to clean water, they poison our fucking water, that we, we are, you know, indigenous folks are, they're Treaties are betrayed and they're relegated to some of the worst quality land. We're put in prisons that are built on toxic sites. These systems were built to target our health and our mental health. They are traumatizing every fucking day. They are violent. Violence doesn't always look like a hit. It doesn't always look like contact. It doesn't always look like piercing. It doesn't always look like a bullet. Violence is extracting resources from our communities and not giving us what we need to thrive intentionally. Violence is redlining. Violence is, is state violence is what they do every day. Capitalism is violence. Racism is violence. Weaponizing the uh, uh, phone calls, the, you know, what y'all call these Karens. Karens are fucking violent. That is violence. And you can't expect... Like Angela Davis said, you can't expect these people to suffer violence every day and not expect a violent reaction. <sighs> Defund police. That's the point. Okay. I'm going to it, type it right here. You can say defund the police. I don't care what you say. Defund police. Oop. Bam. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Let's try it again. <laughs> D Hashtag D. Oh, it actually, I've typed it so much, it actually auto fills for me. Boop. I ain't even had to write it. All right. And again, once again, once again, once again, for all you non-white folks, or non-black, no, non-white folks, uh, non-black folks, we don't, but especially you white folks, there were people that I met today, white folks, that were accomplices, not allies. Fuck allies, we don't want allies anymore. We want accomplices in liberation, accomplices in the struggle. That's what we want. All right? I met some folks today that were accomplices, that literally put their bodies on the line to protect me. And they were about, I'm... I'm tall. <laughs> they were short. That's the point. I was going to try to guess to, you know, guesstimate the, but they were definitely probably here on me. Maybe here. And they were trying to put their bodies in front of me. And then I was trying to protect them. They weren't all white. A lot of them were like I don't know, others, brown, some um Asian uh, so in comparison to them, I'm tall, they short, and they're women, unarmed. They see me getting beat with batons. It wasn't like, let's try to prevent the violence. They literally tried to put themselves between me and the violence as I was being beat. Like as they were pointing guns at us to shoot us with those rubber bullets. They literally were putting themselves, that's, an, that's a fucking accomplice. So, yeah, Latinx people were out there hard. Brown folks was out there hard. Brown folks were out there hardcore, but they understand the struggle. Uh, Latinx folks, like brown folks, um, uh, uh, 
folks from, you know, Arabic folks, uh, Lebanese folks, um, Muslim folks, black and brown both understand that we connected, that our shit, they survey, they face surveillance too. They are killed disproportionately by, by police. So that's why I said, especially white folks, y'all need to be accomplices. Now, don't get me wrong. There's conflicts within our shit. I'm not saying all black people, all skin folk and kin folk, you know, it ain't perfect. We know plenty of examples of that. We ain't even got to call them out. I almost did, but I'm not going to. Because why? Why? That's not who I'm targeting. I'm targeting the whole fucking system. Defund police. This is the last time I'm going to say it on this live. I'm going to continue saying this shit. Um, but this is the last time I'm going to say it on this live. And then I'm going to end this shit. Because you know what? I'm really fucking tired. And I'm still in pain. <laughs> I actually, did I say this already? I can't wash part of my leg for 48 hours, which I think is gross. Isn't that funny? I've been on my lives for the past few weeks talking about people, make sure y'all wash y'all damn legs after I found out they said that white people don't wash their legs. Um, I always thought that was funny. And now I can't wash part of my leg. I can't wash that part of my leg because uh, they put bio glue on it to make sure that it doesn't open up and bleed more. So, uh, anyway, um, I appreciate y'all for listening. But to be completely frank, I don't care. I don't give a fuck if you listen. I don't care how many people tune into my live. I don't care how many people um, come out to these marches. I don't care. I want y'all to do it with a purpose. And the purpose is liberation. The purpose is to defund these police and utilize those resources for care for our communities. Systems of care. I don't give a fuck about numbers. It doesn't do anything if we're not liberated. All right. So handle that shit. I'm going to save this. Yeah. (laughs) I was like, do I have something else to say? Um, I was just making sure that I said everything that I I needed to say. Um, I still might post that other video, but I'm going to put this this one out there. All right. Y'all stay safe. Oh, actually, I do want to say some shit. Look at my, if you plan on protesting, if you plan on protesting, if you plan on going out there and facing these violent, monstrous motherfuckers, these criminals, these organized criminals that call themselves police and cops. If you plan on doing that, all right? If you plan on doing that, make sure you check out the IG highlight on my page for um, suggestions of how to stay safe suggestions of how to organize marches and march routes and such so that they can't catch you suggestions on how to protect yourself from tear gas with you know goggles and how to uh snuff out those tear gas canisters you know protection 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 if you're really gonna do this shit if you're gonna get out there you have to protect yourself because we don't need any more of us dying put your bodies on the line but make sure y'all do it in a, in a wise way, okay? Make sure y'all do it. Don't just do it haphazardly. There are folks that have been doing this for a long time. This is all out war. This is a rebellion. This is a revolution. If you can't tell that, this was no Women's March type of, of, of production. This was like folks out there uh, getting it in, like tearing shit down, okay? Because of the police. They were peaceful protests. But because of the police brutalizing us, 
because we're trying to hold their their asses accountable. Just one of their folks or two or three, just a handful, whoever, the ones that are the public out of the millions that we have, they are like upset about this shit, which means that we're doing something right. Okay, and they're coming after our asses, all right? So if you're gonna do it, that is an all out war shit. They, they are coming with military tactics. They're calling in the National Guard. So if you're gonna do that, make sure you protect yourself. We don't need y'all dying. There's tactics that I posted in that IG highlight that can help, but get the lay of the land, listen to organizers. Don't just get out there all willy nilly <laughs> and try to, uh, you know, fuck some shit up and get get killed. You know, do this safely and, and make sure that you protect the most vulnerable in these protests. Protect women, protect those who have just uh, got out of jail, who have those who have warrants. Um, you know, ask folks if they have warrants, if they're undocumented, if they have children, if they have health issues, medical issues. Make sure folks know and make sure you have medics and lawyers um, um, when you're organizing this shit, that there are ways to organize this shit, and that's why they're organized by organizers, folks that do this shit. Okay, so um, and follow follow those follow those folks in L.A. You got, I mean, yeah, L.A. You got Justice L.A. Justice L.A. Now, I think is their Instagram. Uh, you have BLM L.A. Uh, Black Lives Matter Los Angeles. Um, uh, I think it's BLM Los Angeles on Instagram. Um, you could check into CPD Action. You could look at LATU Hollywood, um, the LA Tenants Union. Um, uh, some of these are, you know, organizing organizing around canceling rent, around housing, housing justice for all. Um, but look at look at organizers for in terms of police brutality. You know. Um, or police murder, um, police violence, police uh, torture. Um, you can look into BYP 100, uh, BYP 100 in Chicago. You can look into Dream Defenders, um, Dream Defenders uh, in, in Florida. You could look at Black Voices Collective in Minnesota. Um, in Minneapolis, Black Voices Collective, that's the Black Lives Matter chapter there. Uh, there's a lot of really dope organizations. Look into them, join them, um, and and support them. Give them your resources. Give them your monies. Um, reform LA jails, which essentially right now is is part of the coalition with Justice LA. Um, uh, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Just make sure y'all are. Uh, checking those, checking for those folks, um, and and researching who they are in your area, and join them. Join them in the fight for abolition. And all abolition means is out with the old oppressive shit and in with the new systems that actually care for our communities that were founded to care for our communities. Um, and, and, and bring about a new world um, where the vulnerable, most vulnerable are centered and lifted up. Look at uh, Movement for Black Lives. Movement for Black Lives. Look at them. Movement for Black Lives. Anyway, um, somebody asked me, am I protesting anytime soon again? I'm down. You know, it all depends on who's organizing it because we organized these two last ones that I was a part of uh, uh, on Wednesday and today. That's why I was a part of them because I knew what was happening. Now, I don't ever know what other people are going to do, but I knew what our plan was. You know, it got out of hand after our plan was done. But, um, uh, you know, we'll probably have more events uh more more things more actions more demonstrations but um uh i don't know shit i don't know what i really need to do is take my ass to sleep 
That's what the fuck I need to do. That's a lesson for my, many of y'all. If y'all remember that the movement moves without you. And that means you're either going to get run the fuck, fuck over. Either you're going to get swept up in that fucking tidal wave uh, because you're a, an accomplice to the oppressive side. Or you're an accomplice to our side, to the liberator side. And you are going to be swept up in a beautiful wave of liberation. Um, and, and, and part of that wave... But the movement moves without you. So you we need we all serve our, our parts. We're, it's not a nonstop thing. It's not a um, it's a culture. It's a life. Um, but we need to rest. We need to meditate. We need to heal. We need to make sure that we're all working together so that we can all take breaks when we need to, to for our health, for our mental health and our physical health. And we actually take care of each other. Um, I am a bit of a hypocrite, a hypocrite in that in that sense because I, I I do keep going and going and going and I do my I I'm doing I'm trying to do better with sleeping but I'm a, I'm gonna do better right now and I'm gonna take my ass to sleep all right um, but I have to keep continue saying that to myself because that's advice that I need and that's advice that all y'all need um, if you are a part of the struggle all right peace.